Hi, and now we continue with Pope Francis's The Joy of Love. And in the beginning of chapter seven, which is about the parental role of educating children, educating children primarily in their moral lives and their faith lives, and how that fits together with their entire childhood, their entire education, their entire experience of being children. He starts out in paragraph 259 saying that parents always influence the moral development of their children for better or for worse. It follows that they should take up this essential role and carry it out consciously, enthusiastically, reasonably, and appropriately. Parents are often at a quandary as to how to best help shape their children to become eventually adults who are happy, healthy, healthy emotionally and spiritually. It's a challenge today and those of us who minister to other families need to realize first of all that the challenge can feel very overwhelming and because it is overwhelming. Secondly, parents often miss opportunities and clues. And this is where all of us can come in in helping other families. In paragraph 260, the Pope continues, families cannot help but be places of support, guidance and direction. However much they may have to rethink their methods and discover new resources. Parents need to consider what they want their children to be exposed to, and this necessarily means being concerned about who is providing their entertainment, who is entering their rooms through television and electronic devices, and with whom they are spending their free time. Only if we devote time to our children, speaking of important things with simplicity and concern, and finding healthy ways for them to spend their time, will we be able to shield them from harm. With today's video games and television entertainment and so many families where the parents are absent from the home because of jobs and the television or the video games uh, end up becoming babysitters, this is partly what has led to the problems we have in society where there is a lot of young adults who are violent, who are unhealthy spiritually and emotionally. None of us want our children to end up that way. The key, as Pope Francis is going to explain, is about how we help them, how we are available to them. He goes on in paragraph 261. Obsession is not education. We cannot control every situation that a child may experience. And he goes on to say that if parents are obsessed with always knowing where their children are and controlling all their movements, they will seek only to dominate space. But this is no way to educate, strengthen, and prepare their children to face challenges. You see, we have something that in our society, we have nicknamed it helicopter parents. A helicopter parent is somebody who is constantly hovering over the children in stuff that's very unhealthy. Pope Francis says this is no way to educate, strengthen, and prepare their children to face challenges. What is most important is the ability lovingly to help them grow in freedom, maturity, overall discipline, and real autonomy. Only in this way will children come to possess their wherewithal needed to fend for themselves and to act intelligently and prudently whenever they meet with difficulties. I know I'm reading a lot right now, but this is so important and it's so often overlooked in today's world. At the end of that paragraph, he says that he has questions that he puts to parents and he's putting to parents through this document and through you now and through me. Do we seek to understand where our children really are in their journey? Where is their soul? Do we really know? And above all, do we want to know? That's a good question to ask.
Ask yourself if you are a parent with children at home. Ask yourself if you're a grandparent and have children come into your home and you take care of them sometimes. Ask this if you are in contact with children or families, the parents that you can inspire to realize how important the children's soul is and their ability to defend themselves against evil, against the evil lies of this world, the moral relativism of this world that says that anything that I believe has to be right because I want it to be. We need to all be working to raise children to be good, holy Christians. God bless you.